Understanding your LinkedIn company page analytics can be a complete game changer for you and your business on LinkedIn. Why? When you understand who is following your page, why they're following it, what is bringing them to your page, then you can drive more people to follow your page, connect with you, and of course, then get more business as a result. So let's have a look. So where do you find your page analytics? So on LinkedIn, this is my company page and I'm viewing it as an admin. So if we scroll down the left-hand side, we click on analytics and this is where we get the gold. You can see content, visitors, followers, leads, your newsletter and your competitors. When you look at the um, analytics, it sets it up to look at the current month. So you could say, let's have a look at the last 90 days. And the key things we want to look at are who is actually looking at your content and is the impressions going up? This is my different pieces of content down here. You can see the impressions that they get and the click through rates that they're getting down here. But what we're more interested in is who is actually following the page and are those followers increasing? For us, we have had 60 new followers in the last 30 days, which is not bad for a company of our size. And when we scroll down here, we can see where are they located. So are they in the area that we're doing business in? Uh, you can also check to see what industry people are following you from. So professional training and coaching. We work with B2B professional services, so that's perfect. So professional training and coaching, business consultancy and services in the top three there. What um, company size are looking at us? So the majority are small size companies. And in fact, all of the top three are in the SME size businesses, which is really the size of companies that we're working with. But this is the really special part. When you scroll down, you can see the names of the people who are following your company page. And in here, if there are people who are following your page, but you're not connected to them, those are people that you could then click on their profiles to find out more about them and think about whether or not you want to follow them here on LinkedIn. How can you use this information to help you actually grow your business? So if we look at the content, for example, and we want to look at the last 90 days of content, so we change that in here, you can export this information, pull it out into a spreadsheet. Under here, you'll see the in the timeline, we've got the last two weeks. I'm changing that to, let's say, the last 90 days for content engagement. And I want to see the number of people who are clicking through. What is the most popular content that we are sharing here on LinkedIn? If you scroll down, you can see then there is um, a short piece of content which had 104 uh, views. Let's see, uh, click through rates, reactions, comments, reposts and engagement. So what is the most engaged piece of content? Let's scroll down. These are on, on average 6 7%, there's 9%, there's an 11%. So that's high, high engagement and there is another 11%. So what are the two 11% pieces of content? If we scroll back to here, this one here, let's have a look at it. And it is about, not unusually for us, <laughs> how to grow your company page on LinkedIn. And we can see that as a short form video, which is a really engaging type of content here on LinkedIn. When you see what your analytics are showing you on the company page, what people are most engaged with, you will know what, what kind of content to share with your audience to really start building that page up. I want to take a moment to look at newsletters because I feel that newsletters are a really strong tool for company pages. And we'll look down here. So there's 519 views of the article, uh, 103 new subscribers on the, on the newsletter, and they are founders, owners, CEOs. Who's following it? Some LinkedIn coaches are following or subscribed to my newsletter. So again, if this was somebody that we wanted to connect with, we might click on that person's name and then send them a connection request and say, thanks for following our company page. And if you'd like more tips and advice on how to use LinkedIn, would you like to subscribe to our newsletter? And I mean the newsletter that is on ConvertKit and not reliant on a social media platform. So I hope that these tips are useful for you to look at your analytics, 
If you have any questions about your company page analytics, please do post them below and let me answer them for you. For more tips and advice on how to use LinkedIn for your company, why not schedule a call with me? Go to louisebrogan.com forward slash inquiry and let's have a conversation.